Make sure you follow me on social media to get updates and ask me questions. Enjoy the video. At this point, it looks like we broke something. So before we continue with update, let's fix that bug. So this is a good moment to show you how I tackle problems. I read in the comments below that the create doesn't work anymore. So let's try and see what the error is about. So I will give this a test. New content, live. Okay, submit. So the error says unexpected data found, data missing. Now, this is a bit confusing to say the truth, but let's take a deeper look to the problem. At this line right here, we get the post on date time. Because the problem is related to post on date time, you can see it right here, actually it is about carbon. Then that means that something is going wrong with carbon. Anyway, so from this line, it looks like Carbon cannot create a date time from this format that we pass right here. So it cannot do that. Now, in my mind, I already have a solution. If Carbon cannot read this format, it means that we have to parse it in a different way. So how can we do that? Well, we can always make use of mutators. So in the article model, let me open that. We already have a mutator for the live attribute. And I will create another one for the post on date time. So I will start by creating the mutator public function set post on attribute. And this, of course, will take a value because we are setting the post on attribute. We are not getting. When you get, you do not need a value. But when you set, you need a value because we are using getters and setters. So this is what mutators and accessors are about. Mutators are setters and accessors are getters. So plain, basic, object-oriented programming. Anyway, so for this one, what I will do is to access the post on attribute. So attribute post on, and I will parse the value that we get. So parse value. All right, so this is all what we need. Now let's give this a try. So if I go back, I reload, continue. Ah, okay, of course, yeah, we forgot to import carbon at the top. So let me do it right here. Use carbon, carbon. All right, back to this, reload, continue. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. So this is attribute, my bad. Make sure you have this as attributes. Uh, anything else? Okay, it looks good. Continue, and now we do not get any error. So if I go back to this, browse, order by ID, you can see that the new content is right here. Okay, now it works. Back to the update that this video is about. So at this moment, we have the edit view. However, there is no backend code to apply the updated values. So the next function in our list is the update function. So here I will find the article with the ID that we pass. Because remember, in the edit view, what we do in the action is to have this URI. And from this URI, we are passing the article ID, which means that we can access the article ID right here. So article equals to article find or fail. And I will pass the ID. Now we want to update whatever we pass. For this, we can use the update function. So article update, and I will pass the request all because everything matches. Remember that the request all requires the field names to be exactly as we have them inside our table, user ID, content, uh, live, post on, etc., etc. Okay, so let me save this and give this another try. So I will go to the articles feed and I will go to the last one, which is, it should be right here, new content, read more, and I will concatenate at this URL the edit. Okay, now I will make this new content one to three. I will not put this live and I will change the year to 2018. Submit, let's take a look. New content one to three, the year is 2018 However, the live, was it on? I think it was on, right? So it looks like the live was not. Mm, okay, let me give this another try. Submit. 
yeah, it looks like it doesn't update the live field. Okay, let me take a look at this. Uh, is the name the same though? What is the name of this field? So this field has a name live. So this is for the edit. Okay, let me double check. So the name right here should be live and it is live in the create. Let's take a look. It is again live, so it doesn't really make any sense. But let me... Actually, this is a very good moment for some live kind of uh, fixing the bug. So anyway, uh, return a request all. Let's see what we get from the server. So we'll click submit. Okay, so it looks like the live field is not set when we do not check it, which makes sense. However, if I check this and I click submit, now it is on and it is here. Okay. So if I go back... Ah, okay, I got the problem. So the thing is that because we do not set the live, it means that the live here will never update. So even if you have this unchecked, it will not change the live to zero because live is not passed to the server, so it will remain one always. Alright, so how can we solve this problem? So the idea is that if we do not set the live field, then it means that it will never get to this point, to this mutator. So what we can do for this to fix it? Well, let me remove the return. And what I will do is right here, I will say, if the live field is not set, then what we want to do is to, let me copy this actually. So I will copy this. And what I will do is to take this and I will merge two arrays. So array merge, which is a PHP function, so the first array will be the request all and the second array will be live false. Else we continue as we would normally do. Okay, so with this now, let's go back. Let me give this a try. So right now it is live. If I uncheck this, back to this. Okay, so now it is not live anymore. Let me take this back to live, submit. Yeah, so it looks like it works. Uh, let me change this again, 2019, submit, okay, 2000, is it 2000? Yeah, it is 2019, okay, so it looks like the update now works. Okay, so what else can we do here? What do we miss? Well, we can redirect the user to the feed whenever they create or update an article. So we can go first to the store. So after we create an article, I want to redirect the user, redirect to the article's URI, which is the feed. Also, whenever we update an article, again, I want to redirect the user back to the feed. So I will save this file, I will go back and give this a try. So let me start by creating a new article. So the article will be new live. Some date doesn't really matter. Submit. And we are redirected back to the articles. Uh, let's see that, uh, yeah, it is here, as you can see. It is also live. Perfect. 100. It is right here. So if I go and I edit this, but actually, you know what? I don't want to concatenate the edit uh, string anymore in the URL. So what I want to do instead is to have, uh, maybe after this name here, to have an edit link okay so what i will do is to go to the edit blade and uh, where is it it is right after the my name so i will search for my name here is it here actually oh yeah no 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 sorry 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 it is inside the show method okay so right after the name i will create a new tag it will be a small tag and i will say the uri well you know it it is articles and then the ID, so article ID, and at the end of this, we will concatenate the edit string. Okay, perfect. Oops. Okay. So for the name here, we can say for the title, edit article, or just edit, actually. Yeah, it's fine. So if I go back, we have this small text here. So if I click to this, we go immediately to the edit uh, view. So if I change this to 1, 2, 3, and it is not live, 2011, 
submit, we are redirected back. However, if I go to the last page, we should have it right here, 132 anyway. So the year is 2021 and the live field is not checked. So, so if we check this, we go back, it should be checked. Let's see. And it is. Okay, so right now it looks like everything is working. Now, regarding the next video, it will be the last one in this Laravel series for beginners. Uh, I'm kind of sad actually to say the truth because I really enjoyed making these videos. However, don't worry about this because after the next video, we will start working on advanced and master series and we will go deeper into the Laravel framework and we will see more and more cool stuff in the Laravel 5.4 actually version and not 5.3. So in the advanced series, we will take a look at uh, the ORM and some other stuff like policies, for example. Uh, in the master series, we will go deeper and see how queues, notifications for real-time events and other things work. So 38 videos in the beginner series, not bad actually. Now I hope that you enjoyed watching these videos as much as I enjoyed making them. And I hope that you will enjoy more the upcoming videos that we will do again in Laravel 5.4. So don't worry about the version, everything that you learned here in the Laravel for Beginner series for the 5.3 version still applies. Laravel 5.4 includes some new features and we will take a look at them one by one.